I've got a dessert that's just perfect for the Valentine in your life. dessert that is perfect for Valentine's. Um, I've got everything out here that I'm going to use. We're going to make some little sweetheart pies. So I just want to kind of go over with you a couple of ideas for um, baking them, pans for baking them in. I have made these in little jars before. They're really cute and uh, you just line the jar, a brand new jar, you just line the jar with pie crust and put your filling in and then put your crust over the top and it, you bake it right in the jar and it's perfect that way. You can also use the lid um, and I might add, I usually uh, don't spray my jars but I would spray my lid so or grease it um, and uh, just you just want to make sure your crust doesn't stick. So you could put your little pie crust in there, put your filling in, and then your crust over the top. These make the cutest little pies. And you can do the small lids or the larger wide mouth lids. Either one works perfect. You can also use these. I wanted to tell you, I forgot that one. These are bigger jars, but you could line this. It's a little bit more challenging to line these, but um, they work as well. And I will tell you that I have used these for um, like fruit crisps, fruit crumbles. I put the fruit down in here and then put the crumble on the top and baked them in there. That works really nice too. So those are just a couple of ideas. But today I'm actually going to make them using these cute little dishes. I haven't used these yet. These are brand new. I've had them for a while and I keep forgetting that I have them and I've been wanting to use them. So, these have been washed. Uh, okay. So it's just, I don't know what these are called because I've taken the label off, but you just have the little pan. They'd be cute for like little cheesecakes or something. I'm not sure what exactly they're made for, like a tart maybe or something, but they're going to work perfect for this. I am going to spray them and, uh, yeah, I think they'd be perfect. And like, you can push it up from the bottom so that you have access to slicing your pie or maybe you just want to put it on a plate just like that, you know, the pie um, without having this around it, um, however you want to do it. But this is what we're going to do. And for filling, I was given this can of mixed berry fruit, so I want to use this up. The pie crust, I'll have the recipe in my channel box. Uh, I did make it ahead of time. I feel like I just made pie crust here. <laughs> so uh, I can link above my um, video to my Pop-Tarts and that video will, you can watch me as I make the pie crust and get that all rolled out and the recipe's also in that channel box as well. So let's get our uh, pie crust rolled out. This has been in the refrigerator, so it's pretty firm. Let's see if we can get it rolled out. We want to keep it nice and cold because it is a butter crust. So I want to keep the butter chilled because it'll make for a flakier pie crust. And that, I think I left it in the refrigerator too long, so it's pretty chilled. I'm trying to get this rolled out to a about a quarter of an inch probably, maybe a little bit less, to 
between an eighth and a quarter I think is good. My pie crust is rolled out. It's about an eighth of an inch. So I have this little pie tin. Uh, you can see it's similar in size. So it's a little bit bigger than this one. So I want to use that as my guide to cut this out. I'm just going to go around this. Okay, so now I'm going to start putting the crust in my pie tin. I'm doing six pies and I only had five of this one. I can't find the other one, so I'm actually using one of these. So this one is a little a little bit bigger than those ones. And I'm horrible at pie crust, <laughs> but I'm not aiming for perfection. I never am. So let's get this one in. These ones are a bit easier to do. do it this way. This is a parchment line pan. I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to be cooking these in the cook stove. So I lined this pan to put them on because it's going to be a lot easier than just placing them in the oven individually. A little harder to pull things in and out of that oven than out of a regular oven. There's no oven light. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. These are so much fun and I enjoy little things like this. I just find that they're a lot of fun to make and they're just so cute and they're just miniatures of, you know, bigger size and I, I just, I like miniatures so. Okay, I'm going to work on the top crust before I fill those. I'm going to fix the top crust of each one. I don't know if you can see or not, but I'm seeing little bits of uh, butter in my dough. I like that. I get those all rolled out. I've got the top crust done. So I'm going to fill each one of my pies. Now you can use any type of pie filling you choose. Cherry would be great. Strawberry would be great. Um, this is what I had. So this is what I'm using. I apologize for the lighting in here, but it is pouring rain outside, so the lighting isn't really great today. Okay, so before I put the tops on, what I want to do is I want to take a little heart it's a little cutter and uh, I'm going to cut a heart right out of the center of that and place that on my crust. I'm just going to fold that over. I'm terrible honestly at, let me see, 
Let's see if I can fold it on the inside. I'm terrible at pie crust. I, I really, I envy those people who can make these beautiful pie crusts that look so fabulous. I don't know how they do it. I know they go like this somehow. But that never seems to work for me. I think it's because I have a little bit of a fingernail here and just kind of gets in the way maybe. We're going to put that little guy there and work on this one. And again, we're going to cut a heart out of the center. We're not going to get rid of these hearts. We're going to use them. So let's get this little guy going. And this one. And this is the one that's uh, <clears throat> the little pie tin. It's a little different from the others. I think what I'm going to do with this one is uh, I'm going to grab a fork. <coughs> I'm just going to seal this one like this. Whoops. Okay. So I have my, I feel like it's getting so dark in here. Um, I have my egg wash. So I'm going to brush my crust really well. This is going to give it a really nice golden look. These are going to be so pretty, I promise. Yeah, they come out. And who is not going to want to bite into one of these? This is a great pie to share with your sweetheart because I think it's a little bit more than one person serving, but it would be fun to share. I think kids would like these too. One of our sons prefers pies to cakes for his birthday. So I thought that was kind of special. I'd always make a nice pie or a cheesecake. You would. So, as promised, these little hearts, I'm going to egg wash the back of them and just kind of put them on there so that it looks like here, let me bring this up here so that it looks like a double heart. And that is going to be so cute when it comes out. And the egg wash is just going to keep it on there really well. And I'm going to brush the top of that as well. Last step. Totally optional. This is just something that I like to do to my pies. This is, um, oh, it's a, a like a turbinado sugar, I guess you'd call it. It's a pure cane sugar, but it's, um, it's a little bit larger crystals, and I like to sprinkle that over the tops. Just kind of glistens. And I like that added sweet crunch to the topping, to the, to the crust. It's always nice. Like I said, it's totally optional. You don't have to do this, but this is for Valentine's. It is for your sweetheart and, you know, a little play on the sweet. I'm sure they'll love it.
You can use a little bit of granulated sugar if you don't have this sugar or um, I know they have the the um, coarser sugar they sell in the store and um, in the cake decorating aisle they have those in there too so that's another place that you can look if um, you wanted to get this but I, I just buy this right into Walmart and uh, it's just a nice little something to add it looks good when it's baking and it tastes good okay so let's get these in the oven Okay, while those are cooking in the cook stove, I have a little fun fact for you. I thought I would look up the origins of St. Valentine's Day. Okay, so it says here, when I googled it, it said the first Valentine's Day was in the year 496. So it's obviously been going on for quite some time now. Having a particular Valentine's Day is a very old tradition. It's thought to have originated from a Roman festival. The Romans had a festival called Lupercalia in the middle of February. Officially, it was their start of the springtime. It's thought that as part of the celebrations, boys drew girls' names from a box, and they'd be boyfriend and girlfriend during the festival, and sometimes they'd even get married. Later on, the church wanted to turn this festival into a Christian celebration and decided to use, use it to remember St. Valentine. Gradually, St. Valentine's name started to be used by people to express their feelings to uh, the ones that they loved. So that's really neat. Um, I didn't know that, actually. Uh, it also says in here that... Um, the day got its name from a famous saint, but there were several stories about who he was. The popular belief about St. Valentine is that he was a priest from Rome in the 3rd century AD. The oldest known Valentine's Day message in English uh, was written in 1477. Wow, I can't believe they still have it. There's a picture of it actually here. Emperor Claudius II had banned marriage because he thought married men were bad soldiers. Valentine felt that this was unfair, so he broke the rules and arranged marriages in secret. When Claudius found out, Valentine was thrown into jail and sentenced to death. There he fell in love with the jailer's daughter, and when he was taken to be killed on February 14, he sent her a love letter and he signed, from your Valentine. Wow. Now when I sign that on my husband's cards, I'm always going to think of this. <laughs> that's, um, that's some stuff I didn't know. That's, that's really neat to know. I, I love, like I said before, I love history. So, let's go check these pies. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you give it a thumbs up and I really hope you subscribe to this channel. Um, it really helps me out and uh, I enjoy doing this for you. I enjoy sharing uh, these things with you. It's so much fun for me. Um, it's, it's a creative side of me that I enjoy fulfilling. So thank you for joining me here at Mimi's Pantry.
Thank you.